Just a moment in your presence can change us. Just a moment in your presence can change. Just a moment in your presence can change us. Just a moment in your presence can change.
Lord can change everything in our situations. It's out of character for me to really talk or anything when I lead worship, but I, I just want to share something with you that the Lord impressed me to share this past Thursday morning in my Valor Christian College praise and worship class. And it's this, the word of God says, and I quoted the scripture earlier that where two or three are gathered in his name, there he is in the midst. And sometimes we don't always feel God in the midst because we always, we make the habit as Christians of saying, God, touch me. I need you to come into my situation and I need you to change me. And here's the reality. Everyone can see that I'm in this room right now, right? You can all see that. And here's this, I'm going to go and I'm going to touch Josh, right? And Josh can feel my hand on his shoulder but you don't feel my hand on your shoulder because I'm not touching you but that doesn't mean I'm not in the room right and sometimes we wait for God to come touch us and we say touch me Lord I need you to move in my situation I need you to to change my family I need a financial breakthrough and all God is saying is I'm right here all you have to do is make a move to come touch me right because he's in this room he's everywhere in this room and God is just waiting on us to make a move to touch him so let's do that right now let's lift our hands to heaven God we move towards you tonight we lay aside every weight that can easily come on us we put it aside and we run after you. We run after your presence. We run after your heart, God, because we know when we get your heart, we then get your hand and your hand will move situations in our lives. So God, we chase you tonight. We run after you. We move everything aside. We move it aside. And we say, we are going to be a people that does not wait for you to always touch us. But God, we're going to touch you. We're going to touch us.
Everybody just lift your hands to heaven tonight. Whatever it is that you need is in the room tonight. If you need peace, it's here beyond our understanding. If you feel weak, joy is in this place to be your strength. If you need wholeness in your body, in the name of Jesus, you are healed. Come on, let's just take a moment in the presence of Almighty God. Everything you need, God, everything you need, everything we need tonight, God, is found in you. Here's what I sense in my heart and my spirit tonight, that there's some of us in the room that have taken one step forward, and then we've taken two steps back. You started on the path that God's called you, but something happened. Discouragement snuck in. Fear began to grab hold. And, and I don't know what it is for you, but I feel that there's many in this place tonight where you were on the road to recovery, but all of a sudden some roadblocks stood in your way. And now you're in a place where you're wondering and you're fearful and you're thinking, how can I go on any further? There's a scripture in 2 Chronicles chapter 20 that gives a story of a time where the people of Judah felt just like you feel right now. They had made some progress, they had made some moves, but they still felt like they were two steps back from where they were supposed to be. And in verse 15, so if you caught that, 2 Chronicles 20, 15. In the year 2015, when we've been promised rest, when we've been promised His presence, when we've been promised that He will step in. 2 Chronicles 20:15. the word of the Lord came forth through the people of Judah. And it said, be still and know that I'm God. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the battle is not yours, but it's mine. I'm here to tell somebody tonight, the battle that you've been fighting is not your fight in the first place. It's his, it's his, it's his. And if you would find your place in this presence, everything that you've been believing for, everything that you've been hoping for, everything that you've been asking for in a moment will be given. Now lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. Lord, we come in this place tonight, first and foremost, to seek you. Lord, we know that you give to those that seek. And Lord, we need you tonight. Yes. It's not by our might. It's not by our power. It's not by our talents or our giftings. It's not by our abilities or disabilities. But God, it is by your power, it is by your spirit, it is by your grace, it is by your mercy that we have the opportunity to push forward. And so God, right now, step into our situation. Fight for us, God. Fight for us, God. Fight for us, God. In that relationship that's broken, fight for us, God. In the body that seems weak and weary, fight for us, God, and give us strength. In our finances, oh God, when everything doesn't add up at the end of the month, God, fight for us, God. Even in our complacency, God, step in, God, step in, God. Let us not be weary and well-doing, but God, let us continue and receive the harvest that you have promised. Come on, just lift your hands, just lift your hands, just lift your hands. Now, Lord, I pray that your presence begin to blanket this place. Every need, meet it. Our heart's desire is to see you, is to be with you is to know you come on just from the depths of your heart from the depths of your spirit begin to sing the lord begin to worship the lord this evening hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah